Hey, it's Bill Baker here, back for part two of this Les Paul refret. That's a picture of me with Ace's Budokan before I started pulling the frets out. You can see the tools and the back plates on the bench there, but uh, that was back in the early 90s. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but he gave me his Eagle shirt, the first Kiss costume, in return for doing the work. So, uh, that's a piece of his graphic arts, his Elvis in space that he gave me. So anyway, I just want to update you. Last night, I was playing around with dressing these frets, and I just wanted to show you see if I, how close I can get here. I started dressing, and it's these first three frets here I've done already. Um, you could tell that they're a little different than over here. You can see the tops are cut over here. You know, what I have to do is level the board and get everything nice and even. And then I could start dressing it. And I can only get so close with this camera, I'm sorry. But, uh, you can see the difference of those three frets compared to the other ones. So I'm using a couple files and... 320 grit paper and 800 grit paper and dressing these and getting the ends nice and round and smooth so when you're running your hands up and down the side they don't cut you. Of course you still feel the frets because they're big but this is basically the step to get the Budokan feel. It's like I hate saying that. To me it's Ace's number one cherry burst which is you know what the guitar really was but um that's the deal, so we're making progress, and I have to do that to all of these frets. And then, of course, i got to put a new nut in, and set it up, and put it all back together, and get it to my friends. So, I uh, just want to give you a little update, and we'll be back with some more next time.